elections at the Ablekuma North constituency. Now, for many who have may, may have missed the unfortunate action in Ablekuma North, uh, we will bring you a quick recap. And later, we'll be joined by a reporter, Eto Namse, who covered that constituency. This is just a short tease of what happened in Ablekuma North. My name is Kemini Nyamani Amano. <laughs> Definitely not a pleasant scene. But why can't we just vote, go home, and have results declared without any drama? Let's watch the full account. Dablikman North constituency was one of the flashpoints in the greater Accra region. After peaceful voting, people in the constituency were anxiously waiting for their parliamentary results. After 24 hours, they became anxious. Perhaps what sparked the anxiety and disturbance was the burning of ballot boxes. Security was on high alert, monitoring events there to avert any disaster. The public would just not stay at home. Many pitched camp close to the coalition center, eager to know who would be their next parliamentarian. Security forces had a job to do. agitating and would not budge. The mob said they also had a duty to protect the electoral verdict. was mounted in a coalition room, and after a long wait, results were declared. On to the parliamentary, Ras Mubarak of the NDC pulled 34,534 votes, 34,534 votes. Justice Joe Apia of the MPP also had 53,000 115 votes. Declaration of the Electoral Commission. I declare Justice Joe Apia as the MP elect for Abre Kumanov. Thank you. So from Ablekuma North constituency, we're back here in the studio. And uh, my colleague, Atonam Say, covered the full story. She joins me here in the studio on Reporter's Angle. Thank you very much yeah, uh, for your time today. But you were there. How did it feel being in the midst of all that chaos? It was scary, you know. But, I mean, our job doesn't permit us to show that we are we are really scared because you have to be in control and then report us as and when you know so it was scary for me it wasn't this wasn't the first this hasn't been i was part of the 2008 elections i was with some other network by then but at, at that time i was just an intern and so it wasn't but even that one it was quite um uh, an experience because i was slapped by one of the macho men for a particular political right. party so um it was scary for me <laughs> it, it was quite scary sorry yeah Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and you were there, you were scared, and you still managed to bring home the story. Yeah. And you broke news as well. Tell me about that. Uh, well, um, the 
what the issue was that it was um it was a scaffold between the NPP parliamentary candidate Joe Apia, he was incumbent, and um, an aspiring NDC, um, Ras Mubarak. They, um, apparently, they had counted, and so they had a fair idea of who was winning. And so, the, um, apparently, Ras Mubarak did not like the fact that he was losing. And so he walked in uh, with, with some tax and then they uh, poured petrol there and lighted the place and set the place ablaze. But the EC was still able to declare the winner because he had a fair idea of who had won the elections. Well, yeah. well, was that not the, the, the green light for you to leave the place immediately? It was, but I need to do my job. I need to keep the people informed. I needed to do my job, so I had to stay and watch you know, what, what happened. And so that, that caused the, the crowd to be so agitated because they didn't know whether that was going to affect the, the winner because they had a fair idea who was winning and so for for that to happen they felt that some of the box uh, papers were bent and so they were not going, going to declare the winner it was going to shift to the other person and but, so they were but, very very but agitated tell, tell me yeah. what what runs through your mind the moment you you realize that a thugs had come to the area do you think oh my god my family did, did, you, did you think about yourself or it, it was in, still about the job the fact that you had to bring the story home it was after I broke the news, then I thought about my family. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> no, I, I'm surprised. It was after I broke the because, you know, we have to get it first. We have to get it first. So I had to get the deputy returning officer to you know, confirm the, the report so that, you know, people will know. And, 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 so after and, and, breaking the news, I thought about my family. Your family. <laughs> and and I, might, I must say that, uh, I first congratulate you and, and then inform our viewers that we did get... Um, some mentions uh, across some uh, media landscape here in the country. Uh, I think Ghana Web gave us a mention yeah. over that story. Yeah. We, yeah. we told it first, and, and it was all for your hard work and, and your love for the job, in, yeah. in really putting your family <laughs> after the job. Oh, that, that, that's really? something we must yeah. emulate, really. Yeah. It, it, it comes with the love of the job, My the family passion. means so much to me, but you passion. know, at that point, my job so let me let me let me make my company proud let, let's the inform passion. them the public yeah the, the passion. passion the commitment if you don't have to the doing passion, the you right can't thing be, you can't, you can't be in this do business, this business. Yes. So, so looking back looking back at what happened would you do it again yeah over and over and over again and, and over get and over slapped and over. <laughs> you know what? That is interesting. You know, in 2008, I was in, I know I was, but then I was an intern, so I wanted to, so I was in the branded t-shirt of the, of the company. And that was what, that, that was how come I was identified. So I was loved, you know, and so, but this time around, I decided to be in a mufti so that, you know, nobody would know that, hey, she, she's with Joy News. The first day I was in the branded t-shirt, but on you, the second you, day, you to... I decided to, you know, look ordinary irrespective <laughs> you seem to have had a swell time you enjoyed yeah. yourself being i enjoyed at myself i enjoyed myself yeah so, so so none of these irate young men scared you enough no no I, not at I, all i think i'm already scared from the studio but for the love of the job and the fact yeah. that they are on screen and they can't do much right now <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very happy to have had you in the studio yeah. it's it's um an eye opener for many, many of us, like yeah. myself, because I'm sure I'd be <laughs> thinking about my baby bump. <laughs> Your be, condition, I can understand. <laughs> before, before the job. But, but really, that's what the job is about. Yeah. That's what we go through day in, day out to bring yeah, the, we need the, to be the story. Really, we need to be really, and not attacked. <laughs> no. And not attacked. Yeah, right, thank you, thank you very much thank for you, your Kermini. time. Thank you. Uh, we've been speaking to Eton Amse. She covered uh, the chaos during the election period and broke news as well from the Ablekuma North constituency. And she, like other people, felt, felt afraid for their lives, but uh, they still managed to bring home the story for the love of a job you're watching reporters angle and unfortunately this is where we draw the curtains on today's show but uh, as always i i leave you with uh, something to 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 munch on this indeed is a hook and yours truly kemini nyamani i'm gonna present you boxing made in bukum see you tomorrow <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.